Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is R from L47, Robert Vermillion from Dallas, Texas. Uh, today is March 3rd, 2012. I am making this video at 2.04 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, just wanted to kind of show you a recap of uh, these are preliminary numbers out of yesterday's storm totals. And what a day it was. 98 reported tornadoes. Again, these are preliminary. Some of these could be double reported, but still. 98, that's lots of tornadoes. 259 wind reports. Five of those were wind reports of 65 knots or greater. 435 hail reports. 42 of those were hail that was larger than 2 inches in diameter, which is larger than ping pong balls. So a total of 792 severe storm reports. And again, that's a preliminary number to the... Uh, Storm Prediction Center. Uh, give them kudos once again for breaking out the high risk area yesterday, up in it yesterday morning, knowing that there was going to be some nasty weather in this area. It it was nasty, and again, my heart goes out to uh, all the folks that lost their loved ones, their friends, and their property, their animals. It's just when you get an outbreak like this, it's a, uh, it's kind of overwhelming sometimes, but it's showing that we're going to early start to spring, which could mean that we're going to have a an early end to tornado weather, but um, it's just starting, so we'll have to see about that. But anyway, that was yesterday's preliminary reports for uh, all the storms that we had. Now here's the generic uh, weather forecast map for today, uh, issued this morning from the hydrological, uh, hydro meteorological prediction center, um, showing that the there's still an area for a p potential for severe storms, but nothing like yesterday. Uh, uh, yesterday was one of those, you know. A, uh, very rare occurrences but when everything comes together like it did some parameters yesterday were like seven to eight times normal what they would have had to have been just to produce tornadoes so it was just one of those unreal type situations today we're gonna have some flash flooding possible down here in the florida panhandle southern georgia again this area has still got some of the energy going on with it from yesterday's storm uh, upper level storm system so there still could be some severe weather and uh, mainly in the um, Florida Panhandle and southern Georgia as you can see the rest of the nation is relatively quiet except for we got some pretty good chances of snow along mainly the northern tier of the US and then we've got some rain and snow mix uh, some pretty hefty snows for parts of eastern Canada and uh, the north western tip of Maine uh, could be some very heavy snow uh, rain snow mix of course up here when you get a system like this uh, next system coming in is really not on the map yet and uh, so that may give us a kind of a quiet period it's it's out there it's this one that's causing snow but it's not like the bad one that we just had but anyway the most of the nation today looks like a good recovery day a little cool and a little snowy up north but um, no tornado outbreaks today. Okay, here's the day one convective outlook. That would be the uh, outlook for today's severe weather. And again, the slight chance of uh, seeing uh, some mainly wind storms and the possibility of uh, still a few tornadoes down here just because of the uh, energy still hang lagging behind with this upper level storm. Uh, and then just mainly some uh, scattered thunderstorms on each side of this slight risk area. But uh, anywhere from uh, southeastern uh, Georgia, and then the northern pan or the northern uh, sections of uh, the Florida Peninsula, need to keep an eye out today and just be aware that there could be some severe weather in your area. Again, we won't see anything like what we saw yesterday as far as in numbers go. Well, I thought I'd move on and uh, tell you about some uh, oncoming uh, solar weather. Uh, this is one nasty looking flare, <laughs> a flare, a uh, sunspot. Then it looks like just a big beaten up part of the sun. And this is on the northeast limb and it's rotating around. And it, if it holds together or gets even more magnetically tangled, 
um, it could give us a show for the next uh, several days. So, again, it's just, when you see this the big blotch like that, you're just kind of like, ooh, somebody punched the sun. But uh, it has given us uh, some low C flares, but it did pop off a, an, an M3 flare, and it hadn't even been numbered yet. Uh, it should be numbered sometime today. The uh, uh, NASA and uh, the uh, Space Weather Prediction Center should number it as uh, 1428 uh, if they haven't already today. That's what it should be numbered. Uh, again, we have to keep our eye on that. A quick look at the GOES X-ray data, and it uh, shows you that um, here is the, uh, it was an M3.4 um, yesterday, and it was going on about the same time our uh, tornadic weather and severe weather was going on, so I just had a chance to probably put look a little bulletin up about it. Um, I'm seeing some drops in data here. I'm not sure what the problem is with their GOES spacecraft, but uh, anyway, we've seen some middle-sized flares in the sea area and uh, this is all coming from that uh, ugly punch in the face that was, was what it looks like to me rotating around the sun so anyway for the next several days uh, severe weather looks to be severe, severe weather for the earth looks to be on the quiet side thank goodness because uh, well, there's lots of folks that have got some cleaning up to do and uh, looks like uh, maybe space weather is going to ramp up for us to give us more to talk about. Anyway, that's it for today. Again, this is Arvermill47 coming to you from Dallas, Texas. Y'all have a good one.